Hello everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how we apply the theorems of diagonals of a rhombus. I've extracted a previous paper and then and we will deal with how questions are asked and then how do we answer them. Now, you are given K, L, M, N, and we are told that it is a rhombus. And then we are given that this angle, K2, is 34 degrees. And then the properties of a rhombus is that all sides are equal, and then this side is parallel to that one, that one is parallel to that one. The diagonals bisect each other at 90 degrees, and they bisect each other, meaning M, O is equal to O, L. So you see how we apply those properties. This question says, Write down the size of O1. O1 is this angle here. And then, so it means O1 is equal to 90 degrees. And your reason is diagonals of a rhombus. Diagonals of a rhombus, they bisect each other at 90 degrees. So that angle will be 90 degrees. Question 2. Calculate the size of L1. L1 is this angle here. Now, I have this angle here that is 90 degrees. So, I can have 34 degrees plus 90 degrees plus L1 is equal to 180. And reason, some angles of triangle. So, L1 is equal to 180 minus 90 minus 34. L1 is 56 degrees. Okay. With Euclid and geometry, when you get these angles, write them. Then they make it easier for you. Now this, we just calculated that it's 56 degrees. Okay, let's look at the next question. The next question is calculate the size of K and M. So they're asking us this whole question, but we can see that we only have part of that question. So we can say for 3L2 is equal to L1 is equal to 56 degrees. Reason, diagonals. Of a rhombus. Diagonals of a rhombus bisect the corner angles. So that angle will be equal to that one. So this whole angle KLM, KLM is equal to 56 degrees plus 56 degrees. You don't have to write that in an exam. You can just take a calculator and add them up. Is equal to 102. Right? It's 112. Now this angle klm is opposite to that angle so k n m is equal to 112 reason opposite angles of a rhombus opposite angles of a rhombus are equal opposite angles of rhombus if you know these properties for rhombus it's easy to get the answers number four they say if lm is 10 units lm is this diagonal if this diagonal is 10 units calculate kl they're asking us to calculate that side so km is l unit so i need that side that that for ol so ol will be five units and the reason is diagonals of a rhombus diagonals of a rhombus they bisect each other so if the whole rhombus the diagonal of the whole, if the whole diagonal is 10, half of it is 5 units. That's our first start. Then we go to a diagram and write the 5. Now, we are having a right angle triangle, and then we are asked to calculate that line, and we are given that line. We've calculated this line, and now this line that we are asked to calculate it's a hypotenuse because it's opposite the right angle. And then you can use either that angle using cos or you can use that angle using sine. You'll get the same answer. So I decide to use cos. I'll use this angle. So if I have cos, my angle is 56 degrees is equals to cos is adjacent. So the adjacent side is 5 over the hypotenuse is KL is the side that I'm at. Then I'm going to cross multiply. So I'm going to say divide by 1. I'll have KL cos 56 is equal to 1 times 5 is 5. Then I divide by cos 56 both sides, degrees, degrees. Then I have my KL is equal to, I take my calculator, go fraction. 
fraction 5 over cos 56. If you used the other angle, we will get the exact answer. You get 8,94 units. Use the use sign, sign 34. We we'll see you get the same answer. So this is how you apply the, 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 the theorems that you have read. If they give you a parallelogram, you have to know the properties of a parallelogram. If they give you a rhombus, if they give you a square, then you can answer questions based on that. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.